Hello tennis nerds, I'm here with Adri, coach Adri, who's now in a new place if you're in Marbella, in Marbella Brothers here in Nova Andalusia, Aloha area, beautiful place, uh, good courts, everything, so if you want coaching, he is here right now, unless he's with Roman Safiulin, as you know, sometimes he travels with him, he's a lucky bastard. Uh, <laughs> but today we're not going to talk about that, we're going to talk about the new booms, 2024, uh, we've been playtesting the MP and the Pro. Uh, and we found out after some detective work that the racket that he's been using, which is a Pro Stock, uh, is actually the Boom Pro. Yes, we weren't sure because uh, there, it doesn't say any specifications on the racket, and it's very difficult to to see like the the head size, especially. You no, know? I mean the string pattern is obvious; you can count it, but the head size is quite a difficult thing to to kind of. Yeah, I had uh, nothing to see. compare it with either. I didn't have a Boom Pro at home. So, but now comparing, we had a hundred and a ninety-eight, and then comparing. First of all, I played with both of them, and then I felt like my personal record was more similar to the 98 yeah. rather than the 100. And then when we measured them up, uh, it, it did seem to be that way. So finally, after a year of using this record, I finally know what my <laughs> racket is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, Funny this was enough. a Roman's test racket before, uh, and he's now with the Gravity Pro. But the Boom Pro, uh, it's more controlled. What's new in the feel, I would say, is that it's uh, you feel like the sweet spot is a bit bigger maybe uh, i didn't notice quite the, as many launch shots like sometimes with I, I don't know if you noticed it with that bomb but some previous booms they used to have a, like a lot of uh, lift on the ball sometimes yeah. trampolining did you, uh, really, did you notice that with this really one? boomed off your racket yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but no this this was very much more compact i yeah. think that they've because boom is quite is generally quite a new model right yeah. it's a new line that i think four years or something exactly um, I, I might be wrong but slightly but um and they've definitely been improving it, and, and this is much, much better. It, it seemed very compact, very uh, stable on, on, on the impact point. The racket doesn't move at all, and, and very much depth and control. So Yeah, the string really pattern like looks it. unchanged mold as well, but the Oxetic 2 is obviously more of the Oxetic stuff, and it makes the racket feel a little bit more stable, and I, I feel like the comfort, it has a really nice feel to it. Maybe the best thing of this racket, in my opinion, is the sound, though. The sound is actually very good. Yeah. I thought uh, that would be a more of a gimmick because they have something called, uh, I think, sound grommets. The sound is good, no? The sound is very good. And we were commenting that on the serve, it's very nice racket, right? Yeah, to yeah. serve with. Comes uh, through here really well. Uh, and I think the boom rackets now, that they are a little bit upgraded, this is not a huge change. It, it's a, it's like most head rackets, kind of a small incremental uh, change and improvement. Some but small adjustments. The adjustments, right? really. Like, I've talked to a lot of players that also like the Boom MP, you know, mm. because that has a really nice, comfortable feel. Of course, uh, you might notice, because the, the, the holes are pretty big, as you usually say, right, and the, the string pattern is relatively open. You might have a little bit of a sail at times, you know, of the ball, but in terms of comfort when you hit the ball, it's yeah. nice. And I, and I, it's important to, to mention that the MP, the strings are, is more open pattern yeah. because the last string you can see is a very small gap yeah. comparing to the Pro. Yeah, I mean, the, the, uh, the, the pattern in the middle is denser, so for players like hitting a lot of oils or a sweet spot, uh, the, that's that's where the, the holes are more centered, right? So yeah. this is more like evenly spaced throughout the racket, you know? Yeah, and you can see here's more rectangular shapes and here's more yeah. square shapes. So. But anyway, so that will give you a little bit more launch. Also, the MP, of course, is lighter, maybe more, come, maybe more like a standard racket that more, let's say, the market is larger. For the, for for the average club player, a perfect racket, like for doubles, very good, like very nice feeling on the volleys and the touch yeah. shots. Uh, but if you're a more advanced player like yourself, uh, that, that play against players that hit very heavy shots and, and hard and you need some stability and mm -hmm. you don't want to customize the racket, you can obviously customize any racket, but this one uh, has pretty good stability. You didn't notice any fluttering no, or anything. No, absolutely. And quality control was uh, spot on, actually. We did both, um, the, I measured them and they were, they were on like, like factory specs, which ha can happen, which cannot happen. You know how it is. It's like a lottery, sadly. Mm -hmm. uh, but these two were actually on spec. So here we have some hitting with the new Head Boom MP with Oxetic 2.0. Uh, a more user-friendly racket with 16-19 uh, string pattern. Uh, pretty light in terms of swing weight. Uh, nothing excessive there. Easy and fast swings. Uh, gonna have kind of a high launch angle because of the open pattern pretty evenly spaced and uh, on a hundred square inch racket you're gonna have a pretty high launch so you need to hit with some uh, spin of course to control it like uh, players who hit with a low trajectory over the net uh, will struggle potentially with this one with the control but uh, you can of course dial some of these things in with the string choice and you can add weight to this racket this is something I did when I was toying with this 
one for the previous generation. I was really enjoying the feel and that's still the case. Still really like the feel of this racket. Uh, I do prefer a slightly heavier, more control oriented rackets overall. So that's why I said uh, previously that an 1820 pattern uh, would have been great for me personally. But uh, it's still a, a nice racket and something that can be used for quite a wide uh, audience. And uh, I, I do think that the, the improvement in, in feel and a little bit the stability coming partly from the from I think the larger sweet spot I think is is uh, is good. So um, yeah, the Boom MP is, is a racket I, I really enjoy. And and as to Carl, uh, he just thought that uh, the Boom Pro, yeah, which being his racket is, is something that he gets a bit more control from. Uh, he still likes to add a bit more weight to it, which is pretty normal for players of, of his caliber. I think the Boom MP is a racket that uh, can really suit the uh, baseliners of the intermediate level up to advanced with some customization. Uh, if you hit with enough spin to control the ball. I think the Boom Pro is great for players who want more precision in a more modern kind of spin oriented and a bit more power friendly racket. So I think the Boom Pro uh, will have a, a, a big audience. And now that they have seemed to solve some of those string bed inconsistency, inconsistency issues, uh, maybe not completely, but, uh, but in a large way, I think uh, there will be a bigger fan group of the Boom Pro and the Boom MP this year. There are some areas that stand out with these rackets and uh, that's the feel. I really feel like these are comfortable without being too muted. They have a really nice impact feel, which is something I crave. They're not the head rackets of old in terms of that old traditional graphite feel, but this is for the modern game where you get and need some more spin and power. But then I think this is actually perhaps the best head lineup. That's a pretty bold statement maybe, but I, I feel like uh, this is the one that's the most exciting head racket right now. I did like the Radical MP and use that myself for a while uh, while playing competitive matches and so on. And that's very dependable. I do feel like the Prestiges are pretty demanding overall, although it has its fan base and I was a Prestige guy many, many years. But these rackets uh, give, give you quite a nice feel, good comfort, which is very important for most players and uh, they do provide some nice power and spin without being completely excessive and, and they do work well for customizing rackets and so on so i think yeah this is my favorite head lineup right now you know of course there, there are many other good ones but uh, i wasn't so convinced by the speeds and i think that the most important thing when you're playing tennis is having fun enjoying the racket you play with having like a good feel on impact i think that's super important as well uh, to really have a good time and this will give you enough power and spin to uh, to play uh, on whatever level you're actually playing there could be some trade-off in terms of control yes but i think overall looking at where modern tennis is going and what most players are looking for which is more help from the frame uh, i think this is the lineup from head that is the most convincing and uh, more so than extreme for me because of the feel and more so than the speed uh, because you get a little bit more and also i think that the feeling on impact is better and i wouldn't say that the boom mp is much more unpredictable than the speed mp uh, which i did actually struggle with a little bit with the string bed so um yeah that's the verdict of all the modern head rackets out now i would take the boom pro into a tournament might still not kick the ass of uh, some of my old school head frames but this one gives me quite good power and uh, very nice on serve especially i really like serving with this frame and a little bit of weight maybe in the hoop and you're ready to go so and uh, the boom pro is a favorite i did like the boom mp as well but it's a little bit much for me uh, so if I could get a Boom MP in 1820, maybe this could uh, have been a, a real nice frame. And maybe there's some kind of pro stock out there. Who knows? Uh, you had one uh, peeve here, though, with the font. <laughs> Me being a little bit OCD uh, everywhere in my personal life. I will show and, it. And tennis camera. life, I can bring it a little bit closer. Yeah, I do. But um, yeah, I, I couldn't help but noticing that on the Boom, I mean, it says P R O like Boom Pro, but it's not like centered in my opinion it should be like pro rather than pro like here it's kind of like not symmetrical which once i noticed it i couldn't help but looking at it every time i i, I was like between points or like before i was going to serve i mean it, it, it's it's not a huge deal i mean it's a cosmetic no. thing but uh, once it came to my attention it was kind of annoying 
But, yeah, uh, it, it seems like unnecessary. Like, and also on the Pro with the MP, yes, okay, um, you can then you have them more spaces, but it, you could just have put the MP somewhere else. I feel like it just maybe like, like boom and an MP afterward. Or it, it also afterward. bothers me a little bit that it's in the word. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it doesn't look like super clean. We, like, we, we were having a little bit of a how how it, how to say you know per broom. No, yeah, per broom, yeah, per broom. The but uh, I would like to know if um, the like the, the designers did this intentionally, if it was a mistake, and if it was intentional, what what was the reasoning behind it? Me being OCD and I like having things uh, symmetrical. Yeah, it did kind of bother me once I saw it. But I mean, uh, it's it's my personal racket, so I do love it. It's not going to affect my game. But, uh, you're you're uh, this is your racket. So uh, and, and when you're comparing the racket you're normally playing and this racket, obviously the strings today were a bit different, but yeah. they're quite similar in what they produce in terms of both like shaped polyester strings. Um, what, what did you feel like? Did you feel a big difference? To be honest, I can't feel a big difference. No. They both sound very, very good. People that have told me that when a um, racket is matte uh, finishing and another one is gloss, that it does make it feel different. Either I'm not that picky to be able to, to notice it, or, or at least me personally, I, yeah. could, I could notice it. Uh, this is a pro stock, this is not, but I couldn't feel too much of a difference. They both feel very like plush and soft on the impact. This is a prototype from like when Boom was first launched. Yeah. Uh, at that time, this was a big difference comparing to the to the commercial ones. And now they've kind of been improving this one as the years has gone by. And, and be, yeah, exactly, it's, similar. It's, it's tough, tougher to say, but I don't know. It's but a small upgrade, yeah, I would say. I did feel, of course, this is a heavier racket. I have it um, customized. Customized. Bit, yeah. I also use a leather grip. This is a synthetic. Yeah, you like to really like to feel the balance. So I did degree. feel those kind of things, mm. but but like as, as kind of impact and, and stability and very very similar, if not the same. Yeah, I, I felt I would play with his and this one, and they're they're very similar. The the retail as well, uh, the regular retail Boom Pro, which we have in the office. Uh, I would say this is a little bit improved because it does feel like a, a little bit better on impact, but it's not going to be a huge thing if you don't want to splurge the money that they, they ask for uh, for a new racket these days. It's not huge, but it's definitely an improvement. I felt like the, the ball is a, you get a little bit more on the ball. It's a bit more stable. Like most Oxetic rackets, it's a, it's a tweak in the right direction. Um, you can say what you want. If you want to go the Yonex way where they do a huge imp like a difference in the racket that might be down or up, depending on what you like. Ahead, they, they seem to kind of be moving very slowly, but generally upwards, which has been, been good overall. But, but yeah, uh, so that's it. Very good. Thanks for joining the review. Have a nice day and... Don't forget to play some tennis. <laughs>